guys welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys some projects that i made for valentine's day and showing you how easy you can create some of these so the first project that i'm going to show you is super simple and it's using what we get almost in every single collection and that's cutter parts this one is from the new doodle bug collection called so punny and i had a 12 by 12 sheet of all these cutter parts and they're super cute you guys you see how cute the little sayings are i love you watts and watts you're hot i love you so much you are stuck with me I love you from the bottom of my tart. I like you a waffle lot. Isn't that the cutest? And then this one that says, you've stolen a pizza, my heart. Isn't that cute? This collection is adorable. If you guys have not picked this collection up, you definitely should because it's adorable. Now, I wanna show you guys how you can make out of these little cut aparts, even though these cut aparts are meant to be Valentine's Day cards, I just think it's a little too simple just to throw this on or just send it like that. So I want to show you guys what I did with these cut aparts that looks so much cuter. So let me move this project aside and show you guys what I did. And these are my Valentine's Day cards. Don't they look cute guys? So I did a lot of layering, of course. I had these um, note cards that I had purchased in a box at uh, Michael's like uh, quite some time ago, and I like the pattern. So I tried to look for ones that matched the little cutter parts. So in this one, I'm gonna show you guys each one, and I'm gonna bring the focus up. Okay, so in this one, it was a pink and like a polka dot card. And as you guys can see, the polka dots well, with the keyboard of the typewriter. And then like the hot pink and then the hot pink. So I kind of made it all kind of go together. Same way as it with the enamel dots and the little enamel stickers of the hearts. And then they're blank in the inside so you could either write or stamp like a sentiment in them. But isn't this the cutest you guys? And it's like way better than just giving somebody that little cut apart. So this is the first one. This is the second one, and the second one, I did more layering as well. I put some paper to, I backed them both. Like some I did shorter than others. This one I did bigger. And then we have the cut apart in the middle, some enamel dots. I put some little puff balls on top of their hats. And then the little hearts on the bottom as well with the enamel dots. Then there's this one. I love the colors in this one. And it's the same thing. I did some hearts in different places, but it's all the same thing with the hearts and the enamel dots. And I did use foam to kind of like make it look a little bit three dimensional instead of just being so flat on the card. So they all have foam as well. This is my favorite. I love this one. So cute. I put the little puff balls on the antenna, and I love the colors. So these are super easy to make, you guys when you get those cut apart and you could just turn them into cards for any occasion. I thought it was a super cute idea. So these are some of the cards that I made. I will make some more with these that I have left over. So I thought you guys might like to try that out when you get cut apart and if you don't know what to do with them other than just send them over to a pal, you can make a nice card for them as well with the cut apart. And then I just either use the white envelope that came with the regular note card or I'll make an envelope myself. And the next project that I want to share with you guys is this super cute, tiny little flip book. This is what it looks like. I have some cute little different variety of trim. And these are all little envelopes. And I got this idea from some Happy Mail that I got. And I think it's my previous or my second to last video that my friend Teresa sent me a flip book and they were all little envelopes but I decided to make it a little bit smaller these are made with a six by six paper I think they're five by five envelopes like I always it a five by five I think it is I'm not sure I can't remember that right now but 
I, it's made with a six by six, so definitely use the six by six um, paper. I lost my train of thought to make the little envelopes, but this is how I decorate it. And I'm gonna show you guys the paper pad that I used. Give me one second. Let me also get the punch board to kind of show you guys. So this is my envelope punch board. And the one that I made to make, these are the envelopes right here, the size that I used is three by four. So these are three by four envelopes that I used to make the little flip book. And this is the paper pad that I used. It's the Paper Studio Love Collection. And so cute, you guys, I love it so much. So this is what I did. This is the first envelope. I've already put goodies inside each envelope, so that's why they're sealed down. Got this one that says friends. Then I put one of my little rosettes here. And I also used one of the little bows that my friend Teresa sent me. And then we have like a little card that came with the, uh, the paper pad. Look at this page, you guys. So pretty, right? Then I just put a little heart right here. And then look at this page, how cute. Isn't that cute? It says, I like you. And I put a little bow on her hair. And then we just have like a little camera, some washi samples, and then I packaged up some stickers. And then in here is where I'm going to put the note for the recipient. That's why it says read right there. But yeah, you guys, isn't it so cute? I love how it turned out. I love how tiny it is. And it's super easy to make. You guys just have to make the little envelopes that are, like I said, three by four. These are some other envelopes that I made that I'm gonna make another one with. So you make your little envelopes, you punch your little hole on the little corner right here. You could put your own little reinforcers, put a little ring in it, and just fill it up with goodies and add extra stuff if you want. If not, just send the envelopes. That's fine too, because you're filling them up with goodies for your pen pal anyway. But yeah, you guys, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my ideas with the flip book and the Valentine's Day cards. But thank you guys so much for subscribing. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to hit that bell for to be notified if I upload or when I upload my next video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.